Hello and welcome back. This is Braymart. We're gonna be playing a little bit of mono red here because mono red wins. This is what everyone wants. Wow, these games start quick. We got a couple of packs to open up at the end of this as well. We'll see what Relamathop gives us. Relam Hoppet. I don't even know what that is. Yay, damage creatures and more damage. Um we really didn't draw into our mechanic here. Nice. White green light game. Or something among those. I mean we can kill something next and then we'll drop a creature after that. We're just waiting here. He'll probably drop something worth smacking. Yeah, that's something worth smacking. And bada bing. Two damage. So that was easy money. There we go. We got the right cat. Again, best decision ever getting those cats. Ooh, nice. Another square one. I would too after that. I'd be like, oh man, I don't know what I'm going to play. Because yes, you are playing against a red deck. All we're going to do is burn you. We'll see. I only got three land. Two Ember Cleaves. Keeps doing this to me. I love these cards. Don't, don't get me wrong. Great cards. But. Uh, okay. I don't really know what the point of that was. We'll get to him on the battlefield. He's probably going to double 1-1 one, one counters. Which means we may have to uh, fire prophecy this guy next turn. Oop. Let's see what we got. Oh no, he's going to take a guy. Yeah. That's okay. So that's a target, right? Like, we're gonna have to smack that and get that back. I mean, it's just two mana. Can you proliferate in standard? I mean, kind of. There you go. Uh, an Evolving Wilds. It's not great, but we'll take it. Uh, we're gonna pitch this Ember Cleave because we're tired of seeing it. Uh, we are also going to activate this. Get this out. So, yeah. Uh, I don't really know exactly what happened there. But, I I'm happy with it. Because we'll just drop this other annex that we have in our hands. Or actually, so get the combo that I wanted. I got half the combo. Daddy Freeze. Tell me, Daddy Freeze, what does gold one look like? I, I remember being platinum. What? I, I'll take this hand? It's not exactly what I want, but... It's too damn... Oh, this is hilarious. Well, ain't this just a funny joke? So we don't have anything special here. So we're going to want to burn this turn. Because we're going to want to use this land. <laughs> we're going to have to... We're going to have to bone crush giant. The hellhounds. Uh, we know what he's playing. He's playing what we're playing. If he hits it with a fervor, oh, he's playing red green. There you go. Respect. Almost a little too much respect here. I'm gonna stomp on your dog. By the way, get the right cat. There we go, fire cat. Yes, daddy freeze. We are gonna burn you. Now you got three lands. What you gonna do? Okay, I can see where this goes. I actually kind of like this. Uh, I, like, I, I can clearly see what this is doing. Again, I, I suggest an Evolving Wilds. Uh, I mean, that's what I personally like, but... So, question. What do we do here? Because we're kind of getting choked on our early turns. I think we immediately annex. Next turn, we'll drop the Ley Line, and then we'll start blasting targets. Or drop more creatures. But I think it's important to get out some of the bigger things. Fable Passage, great card in this deck. I exactly know what he's doing. We will take one more hit from this Hellhound probably. Because uh, there's no way to stop him. And then we need to win before this Beanstalk Giant can actually hit the battlefield. Which he is like two turns away from that. So, like I said, we have options. We're gonna drop this thing. Right. 
uh, I'm worried about him getting a free first strike. But we're going to have to start damaging him somehow. If we don't start aggroing, we're, we're never going to win this. Cleansing Wildfire will get us a card in our hand, but we need to Fervor the Bitten. We need to drop our Bone Crusher Giant. We need to Fire Prophecy. We did not draw our... Uh, pretty much what he drew, his landfall. And to be honest with you, I would love to be sitting pretty with a Fable Passage and a Hellhound right now. But, that's okay. Ooh, and it has haste. I mean, I can Romful Stomp it, which is fine. He's gonna go fetch that land and try to swing with the 2-3. Uh, right, I'm worried about him having like a buff spell. See, this is nasty. I think he's going for, uh, 100% going for lethal this turn. I love this. This is this is my deck. It's not lethal. So we take. Oh no, the Ember Cleave. That's a GG. So we got to play against like our deck, but in a better format. See the ventures red green. This is what I tell you, but this is pretty much decked out. This deck is as good as it's gonna get. Uh, other than diversifying into other colors, there are a few of the spells that you can flip into lands, which I hear are very useful uh, for diversification, for having like options and stuff like that. Uh, I've been thinking about looking at that uh, for the red deck. I've seen a couple of different options, but this is it right here. Opponent goes first though. That's the only drawback. Mono red, kind of want to go. We will keep. Kick me. I think we'll be cordial. I think we'll hello. Ooh, overwhelmed apprentice. Cannot even be mad. It's a great card. This is in the majority of my blue decks. I love this card. Good one drop. Actually, phenomenal one drop. In blue, no less. Just like random. It's a one two. Scry, mill. Like, whatever. It's just, you know. Ooh, and a rune crap. We're going against a mill deck here. I think we might be able to crush face. Let's see. And I'm wondering, how do we want to handle this? Do we want to fervor? Oh, really? <laughs> That's kind of funny. He swung. Um, I think we pull out robber. Let's just go ahead cleansing wildfire. Okay, drew us a land as well. He's going to keep that crap. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind. He's going to keep that crap. So, next turn we drop Robber and Fervor. And then we'll Ember Cleave like turn four or something. Because at that point we're going to need four mana. Because we're only going to have two creatures. As long as he doesn't kill something. Oh, okay. Buffs it. Nice, it's a 3-2. It's hilarious, another robber of the rich. Sure. Uh, I'm wondering what we want to do here. We'll think we'll offer the trade. Just to kind of be funny about it. He has more cards than me, so I won't actually get the ability. Yeah, she'll take it. Ha! Ah! I mean, that's fine. Robber's good, but I have another one. So I'll, f I'll freely trade that option. I might even be able to drop it and play Ember Cleave still. I don't know. Oh, nice. Down the loach. So he had responses, but we have backup. The mill thing is, is going to get me eventually. But they're milling land, which I'm shocked to see, because we obviously have more than enough land. Sitting pretty at five right now. Ooh, fire prophecy. See, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. We're actually going to hit the crab, funny enough. Oh, do you have a unsummon? I would love to see the unsummon. There you go. 
Wow, we actually burned a spell for that. Okay. I mean, I'll hold. I mean, I was going to pitch a land. This never really was actually going to be kind of useful. Right, so he's down to one card. And we're down to a spicy Envercleave. Oh no. That's again a one freaking. Alright. A simple mathematics. Wow, we really have no. <laughs> That's funny. We have no options here. We're both sitting with no cards in our hands. Completely depleted. I'm at 21. Fire Prophecy. <laughs> oh, I hope you drew a... Okay. Evolving Wilds. Uh, I think we put it down just to play Robber. <laughs> right. Oh, it was a land, of course. Uh, so we'll end. That sucks. I don't think we want to go search, because it's just going to deplete our uh, deck. Destroy target creature. <laughs> Oh, I hate it. That's so bad. Okay, Bone Crusher Giant. Uh, I should have played his uh, any target. I apologize. I, I completely failed. I should have smacked him with the two. I, I just I just played it. Go ahead, resolve. That makes me sad. Does it have haste? Okay, cleansing wildfire is not really going to help us here. Like, we're not even going to take the uh, the action here. Because we're, we need it in the deck, surprisingly enough. Right. So we start swinging. Hopefully we have enough threats, enough assets on the battlefield to do something here. I can't believe he took that to the face. He really wants this thing to go through, huh? That player mills a card. Uh, oh, okay. Nice. You should have blocked and then sacked it, my friends. Uh, that's okay. I made an error earlier, too. Oh, see, this is what's dangerous. This is why we left some lands in the deck. Because this is actually going to possibly kill us. Fire Prophecy. Well, GG. Good game, sir. I drew more assets. That was good. I mean, it's a control deck, and it barely lost. So you gotta give it to him. Alright, that's three and out. Two wins, one loss. Uh, that's mono red. Uh, I don't know if I can make it much better. I think I'll look into some deck lists to see if I can get anything cool. As of right now, let's crack open these packs. We're hoping for dual lands, red, blue, anything, actually. Uh, blue, black, sure. I mean, again, these dual lands are so cool. The fact that they released a new mechanic in a set, especially standard rotation, like this, this is amazing. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, it's it's no like last blood chief good, but oh well. A exploration. This is this card is actually becoming pretty good. Uh, I might actually look into putting this in the mono red deck as just like a one-off. But there are some things I can do like this to edit the deck. I just got another land or two rares, so I'll be able to get two more fabled passages. Pulling this deck back up to where I want it to be with lands. Right, so four Fable Passages, four Evolving Wilds. That cleans up our land. 19 lands, which is nice. 